Nick was just four years old when he was diagnosed with leukemia. After three years of painful chemotherapy and radiation, he was cancer-free, a survivor. But over the next several years, Nick suffered the toxic impact of his treatments, cognitive and organ damage, hearing loss. At 18, Nick was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. He died a year later. Nearly 83% of the children diagnosed with cancer in the U.S. eventually become survivors. But like Nick, that does not mean that they live long and healthy lives. Nearly 16,000 children in the U.S. and 200,000 globally are diagnosed with cancer each year. But childhood cancer isn't one disease, it's dozens, and each impacts a small but precious population of children. Right now, we have the scientific knowledge, we have the pharma industry expertise to deliver better treatments with less toxicity. But it's not happening, and that's because developing cures for such a small population just isn't profitable. At CureSearch, we've been driving cancer research for almost 30 years, directing hundreds of millions of federal dollars to research. But as the lack of progress shows, throwing more government money at the issue is not the solution. Learning from our past, we've now created a mega-fund model for pediatric cancer drug development. We can scale that model tenfold, accelerating the pace of delivery of new cures for children to ensure they can live long and healthy lives.